Please, thank you so much, Pearl. Now, Femi Koya, as uh, Pearl mentioned, widely known as Olufemi, will be bringing his message of unity and love as Africans at this year's Bushfire International Festival. Now, the annual gathering, which takes place in Swaziland, invites the finest musicians in and across the continent to perform for the weekend. Now, the artist will perform uh, all his, his all-time favorites and uh, be sharing the stage with the likes of TKZ, uh, with the likes of Yuma Sikela, Good Luck Cuesta, and much more. And here to share more on the festival and his music, this morning we chat to singer and saxophonist Femi Koya. A very good morning to you, Femi. Thank you so much for, watching, for, no, for joining you. us. And welcome you. to Morning thank Live. You. Thank you for having me here today. All right. Now, uh, you are one artist that needs no introduction. And, uh, you know, your music and sound has set you apart from the rest. How so? Well, you know, it's about, um, it's about st st um, sitting with African music. It's about um, not letting go of our traditions, not letting go of our culture, basically. That's why um, I think if you put it that way, you're correct. Yeah. Yeah, and what does headlining at uh, a festival such as Bushfire mean to you? Well, I, I guess it's a very good thing. Um, it's not the end of the world. It's a very good thing for me, <laughs> right. uh, you know, to be able to take my music from, South, from Nigeria to South Africa and to be able from South Africa to take it to Swaziland. I think that's, uh, that's a very, very important thing um, in, in, in my journey. Would it be your first time performing there? Uh, on bushfire, yes, that would be, this would be my first time. Okay. And yes, I'm going to take my fire there and yeah, burn the whole place up. Yeah, I'm sure you <laughs> will. <laughs> now, just how important uh, are festivals of this nature in, insofar as uniting Africans? I think it's very, very important uh, because um, it, it helps to actually speak about Africa for once. Right. You know, right. Um, if I dress this way and I just walk outside there, people look at me very weird while we're still in Africa. Mm. You know, it's, it, we don't have to shy away from it. There's so many crazy things happening in Africa. Yeah. What's happening in South Africa right now about children and women, it's really mad. Yeah. It's, it's just yeah. out of the world. If I am the president, man, I will say, you know, if you give me the power to be the president, don't, don't laugh at this. But I, I'll just <laughs> say, you know, once a, a young girl is around 15, just, you know, give them a chance to license them to something that can protect them, like a gun or something, I'm sorry to say. But, mm -hmm. you know, it's just weird. There's nothing you can think about. It's like, how can you speak to the men? What can you do to protect them? And festivals like this will give us the opportunity to say, hey, you can't do this. Sure. This f festivals like this will give us the opportunity to say, hey, look, I'm a Nigerian, you're South African, but we Africans. Mm -hmm. We together can move Africa forward. Mm. We don't have to sit here and be talking about uh, the Europe world or the outside world. Let's talk about Africa for one. True. Let's talk True. about Africa. Let's talk about how we can solve our problems. True. We've got too many problems. Look at Nigerian president. He's, he's sick, but he has to go to London for treatment. Mm. Think about it. What are you saying? You say all Nigerians must get out of Nigeria and go to London for treatment. That's crap. Think about it. Mm, mm. So we need to have time to be able to speak about these things. We need to be able to talk about xenophobia. Yeah, because we need at to the end of the day, we are all Africans. Yes, so we are all Africans. He may be Nigerian, he may be Namibian, whatever, but we are all Africans. We are Africans Now, first. I do understand, yes. I do understand that you are well-traveled. Now, in, uh, in your many travels, what is it that uh, people overseas or wherever you travel appreciate of, about your music? Hmm. That's a very serious question, and I'll put it this way. Uh, I'll say it this way. We as Africans, we don't appreciate the single things, the, like the very little things that we have. Yeah. But when you go to Europe, these guys will just look at you and be like, wow, this is great. These guys are like, you know, when you're in your African, uh, Africanism, when you, when you portray yourself as African, you know, um, they love that because you're, that's your identity. You're not trying to be like an American or you're trying to be, uh, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with Americans or Europe. So or you pride yeah. your music with having that Africanism. Absolutely. In it. That's, that's, that's where we are. That's where we should be. We shouldn't pretend, right. you know, I mean, if we don't buy Africa, who's going to buy Africa? If we don't wear Africa, who's going to wear Africa? Mm. And if we don't speak Africa, who's going to speak our language? Like my language, Yoruba, I think in the next few years, it's just going to die off. Because you go to Nigeria, they want to speak English. Yeah. I just arrived in Lagos now, I'm like, Bawunio, Chewa, Pao. They'll be like, hi. And they're wondering, why am I speaking Yoruba? Because they expect me to speak English because I'm from South Africa. I right. don't think about this. All right, all right. Femi, <laughs> all the best at the, at the Pushfire Festival. And Thank it's you. been a pleasure chatting to you this morning. Appreciate it. All right. <laughs> that was Nigerian singer and saxophonist Femi Koya, one of the many artists that will be headlining the Bushfire Festival next weekend in Swaziland. Well, this is Morning Live. We'll take a short break. We'll be right back.